Okay, everybody, this is uh, chapter two, section one. Uh, we're solving one step equations. That means that we have a variable that we're trying to solve for, and we're going to do one step to get a value for that uh, variable. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with something called inverse operations. Okay, so if you could write down uh, that term right here, inverse operation. And then if you could uh, write down the definition that goes with that. Okay, and then the word undoes is kind of highlighted here, okay? So it's an operation. That means it's a math operation that's going to undo another operation, okay? So if you could add this, if my original operation in my math problem is to add, the inverse of that is then to subtract, okay? If, and then we could do this in reverse. If my original operation is to subtract, its inverse then is to add, okay? <clears throat> we would also look at other operations we would multiply. So its inverse operation is to divide and vice versa. If, if my operation is to divide, then to undo that is to multiply, okay? So we're gonna kind of look at those kind of things, all right? If you could go ahead and um, write in this definition too, addition, subtraction, and multiplication, division, property of equality, and then write down um, the definition that goes with that. We're adding and subtracting and multiplying, dividing each set of an equation by the same number non-zero number produces an equivalent equation. Okay, so if you could write that down. And then we got these couple of examples underneath. So if you could write them down and uh, with the circles, we're going to show what the operation would be to get um, our answer, okay? So this first equation says x plus 4 equals 2, okay? And so this is the original problem. So the original operation is to add 4. So to undo that or do the inverse would be to subtract 4. And I would want to do this on when I, when I do these different operations, I have to do it on both sides of the equal sign. <clears throat> it's like keeping, trying to keep it balanced. It's like the old fashioned scale when the gold miners were trying to weigh their gold. I had to keep that scale balanced. So I had, it had some weights on one side and then I put the gold on the other. And then by adding or subtracting weights, I could see how much gold I had because then the, the scale would be balanced, okay? So something like this, the second one, okay, whenever you see a fraction, that's a division problem, right? So fractions are division. This really says X divided by three, okay? So to undo division, we want to multiply. So we use the dot for multiplication, okay? So we're gonna multiply both sides by the denominator, okay? You might wanna write that down. Multiply both sides by the denominator, okay? And basically what that does is it allows this to be canceled out and you get X or whatever is left on top. And then over here, I'm gonna get six, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so my, my operation is to add. So I wanna do the inverse of that. That means subtract. And I'm gonna subtract whatever that number might be. I'm gonna do it from both sides. You know, that, that's gonna go away because that makes zero. And then 27 minus three gives me 24, all right? So, you know, Identify the operation. I'm subtracting here, so I want to do the opposite or the inverse. So I add whatever that number is, but balance it by doing it to both sides. So I get x is 16. Okay. 
remember what this says. This says, this is a, a multiplication problem. It says negative 2 times m whenever we squish a number next to a variable that says multiplication. Okay, so undo multiplication is to divide both sides by whatever is in front of the variable. So make sure you take the negative number with it. A lot of kids make mistakes. They just divide it by two. You have to bring the sign with it, whatever it might be. And remember, when you divide two negatives, you get positive. In this case, I'll get M. And then, you know, I'm now I'm dividing opposite signs, so my answer's always got to be negative. And 36 divided by 2 is 18. Okay. So, uh, once again, too, remember to, uh, if I'm going too fast while you're watching this video, then you guys make sure that you uh, hit pause, get yourself caught up in your notes, then hit play again, and we're good to go. Don't try to go too fast. Okay, a couple different ways to do this problem. Um, we learned last chapter that we could, this is a, a multiplication problem, but so I'm going to have to divide, but remember, I would divide by the reciprocal of that, okay? So I, I'm going to divide by the reciprocal. But remember, when you divide by fractions, you have, well, you have, you have to multiply by that second fraction, okay? So this kind of goes away over here. This is M, okay? And then over here, you could cross cancel. So remember, you, there's a, always a one underneath there. So I, I want to look diagonally here. Can I reduce that or cross cancel? And four goes into 28 seven times, goes into itself once. So really, I'm left with seven times five is 35. <clears throat> okay, so. I had to divide here because this this was multiplication. So I, I'm I'm gonna divide by a fraction, but remember when you divide by fractions, you have to flip it. That was the reciprocal, and my operation became multiplication. Okay, but that's because I was dividing by a fraction. All right. So that one's a little kind of confusing because I I'm supposed to do a rule one way, but I had to do another way because of the type of number that I had. Okay. All right. Um, this one, the uh, kind of, we had to write an equation for it. The length of an average toucan is about two thirds of the length of an average macaw. Uh, toucans are about 24 inches long. First, write an equation as a model. Okay. So we have to be able to look at that and kind of think, well, what do I have? How do I write this? Okay. And this is a big skill that we have to be good at. Okay, so taking with the toucan, we just had to write the equation. So we're using both the toucan and the macaw in our problem. Okay, so a toucan is going to be uh, a certain size. A macaw is obviously, if you read it and understood it, the macaw is going to be bigger than a toucan. Um, so the toucan is, is two thirds of what a macaw might be. All right, so we wrote the equation with that, and then they told us that the macaw was, or the toucan was 24. So I substituted 24 in for t. Over here, I had to get m by itself, so I divided by two thirds both sides. But remember, when you divide by a fraction, I had to flip it, and so I get you know this over here, and I multiply that out, and we could find out that the macaw should be about 36 inches long. Okay. So a little tough problem, mostly because there's a fraction involved. We kind of had to think that one out, but we need you to be able to look at what you're given and be able to write equations, kind of create the process. Okay. Okay. So that'll kind of get us to the end. Um, please make sure you, know, you take good notes. If you have any questions, just make sure you get a hold of me and we can go over some stuff together. Okay. All right. Take care.